after being discarded by the avoidant, you are in a world of pain and it feels like you were never good enough for this person, that they just walked away like it never even mattered. But in reality, the avoidant, especially dismissive avoidance, they run precisely because you treated them well. Chances are they probably told you something along the lines of nobody ever made them feel this way. Nobody ever treated them this well. And they were telling the truth, which is exactly why they ran. Avoidance fear abandonment above all else. And you don't fear abandonment from somebody who isn't all that special, from somebody that you don't have a genuine connection with. Because if somebody's not that special and they don't treat you that well, it's not that crushing to be abandoned by this person. But a partner that actually does treat them well, a partner that does show them love, a partner where there is a genuine connection, that is where the fear comes into play. That's the person you fear being abandoned by because it would be devastating, it would be heartbreaking, it would be crushing. And when the avoidant is in their fear mode, they feel it's safer to do the abandoning than risk being abandoned themselves. Because at their core, the avoidant feels like they are unlovable. They learned this from childhood when they were emotionally neglected by their parents. And because they were emotionally neglected and they weren't shown love, they feel it must be because they are unlovable. And they learned to suppress their emotions because they usually grew up in environments where they couldn't freely express their feelings. So you have someone that feels unlovable and doesn't feel comfortable or confident enough to express their needs, wants, and emotions. So what you get is a person that fears that a partner who treats them well is too good for them, better than they deserve. And it's just inevitable that the healthy partner is going to figure out that they're too good for the avoidant and ultimately reject and abandon them. This can become a paralyzing fear for the avoidant which is often why they run away when the relationship is going so well, because it's going so well. The discard can often happen after a nice vacation, a great weekend together, a holiday, and then boom, out of the blue, I can't give you what you need. You deserve someone who can love you the way you deserve to be loved. I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. Right person, wrong time. I just need some time and space on my own to heal. It's not you, it's me, and all the other vague excuses. But the reality is, is that the avoidant had their fears of abandonment triggered. That they felt like there's no way that they were good enough to keep this person. So might as well cut them free now. And the avoidant will even gaslight themselves and convince themselves that they're doing this person a favor by discarding them because they're setting them free to find a better partner. But. It is also a selfish and self-absorbed thing because the avoidant is so wrapped up in their own fears, their own perceived wants and needs and desire to protect themselves that they're not even considering how this impacts the other person. They're not considering the crushing blow to the self-esteem that it can cause someone when they're discarded. And understand, it's a reflection of the avoidant and their unhealed attachment wounds. It's a reflection of them and their character. It's nothing that you did wrong, and actually, it's everything you did right. It's because you showed this person love. It's because you showed this person kind treatment. It's because you opened up your heart to this person, and that's precisely what scared them. Avoidance, they actually feel safer with toxic partners, emotionally safer. That's because the toxic partner is usually emotionally unavailable themselves. And because the toxic partner is emotionally unavailable, the avoidant doesn't feel pressure to be available or vulnerable for the toxic partner, which makes them feel emotionally safe, since the avoidant is emotionally unavailable themselves. But with a healthy partner that treats them well, a healthy partner that shows them love, the healthy partner is emotionally available and vulnerable for the avoidant. So the avoidant feels an unspoken pressure to be emotionally available and vulnerable in return for the healthy partner. And this scares the avoidant because they're emotionally unavailable. They've built up a castle wall around their heart. And the fear is if they let somebody in, that person's gonna see that the avoidant is unlovable and they're going to abandon them. So it all comes down to the core fear of abandonment. And it's because you treated them well. So understand, it's most likely not anything you did wrong and everything that you did right.